Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all doing? I hope you're staying safe, home, enjoying Ramadan and making good deeds. Welcome to ICOI story time. Today's story is going to be about Prophet Nuh. Prophet Nuh lived long ago. He lived in a village where people didn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People used to worship statues, just like these rocks. They were made of rocks and just like these stuff. Those ones look a little bit silly. Maybe the ones that they had were a little bit um, serious. But anyways, they were just rocks. And so Allah sent them Prophet Nuh alayhi salam to tell them to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Prophet Nuh tried for so many years. He tried over and over and over. He would go to people and in their house, he would knock the door and he would tell them, hi, I wanted to talk to you about Allah. And they would just say, oh no, we don't want to listen to what you're saying. Whatever you're saying, we don't want to believe in it. Prophet Nuh wouldn't leave hope. He would still try and try and try. He would go to a group of people and tell them, Hi, do you have some time to talk about Allah? And they would listen. No, we are having fun here. Please don't spoil it. Prophet Nuh was sad that his people don't believe in, don't want to believe in God. But at the same time, he wouldn't lose hope. He tried and tried and tried, and a very little amount of people believed in him. Mainly, they were poor. They weren't rich like other people, and they were very weak. And so Prophet Nuh would go to the other people and ask them again to believe in Allah. And then they said, you know what, Nuh? Only poor, weak people believed in you and your God. And we don't want to be like them. We don't want to be with them. If you can make them not believe, we can think about it. Nuh told them, I cannot tell a believer not to believe in Allah. This is not right. But they wouldn't listen. At the end, Noor was trying again. And they said, No, we don't want to listen to you. They put their hands on their ears and they said, We don't want to listen. We don't want to know. Just leave us alone. And so Noor knew that this is the end. They would never listen to him. They would never believe in Allah. So he prayed and he asked Allah for help. So Allah told Noor, to build a huge ship, an ark. And Noah wasn't sure how to build an ark in the middle of the desert, but he did it anyway. If Allah says something that he would listen to him. So Noah and the believers built the huge ark. And by the time it was end, all the disbelievers were making fun of him. Ha ha ha, are you building a boat in the middle of the desert? What kind of boats are you building? But Noah would, wouldn't listen to them. He wouldn't even reply. There is nothing else to say. Anyways, Allah told Noah to gather all the believers in his boat. He also told him to bring a pair of animals, each kind of animals. And all the animals came with Noah quietly and they sat in the ark and they wouldn't move. Also, the believers went to the ark and then it started raining. The sky was pouring rain and rain and rain and there, was, there wasn't any way to escape and to be safe unless you are in the ark. And so Allah saved all the believers and saved all the animals with Nuh and the boat went away from his village and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was done, Allah asked, the, Allah asked the earth to, to swallow all the water. And so Nuh and the believers were all safe and sound. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved the believers and those who believe in him. I hope you enjoyed the story and I would love to share with you the craft that I have made and maybe you can make something and post it as well. So 
I had a plate, I've cut it in half, two halves. You can either glue the two halves together and make your own ship, or you can take one side and glue it to another plate. I have attached some animals. I have a cow, a sheep, and a small chicken, but remember they were pears. And so make sure to glue two pairs of animals together. And so you will come out with Nuh's boat, okay? So please go ahead and do your own craft, show us your creativity and post it on our Facebook page. Thank you so much and see you next week. Assalamu alaikum.